Hey guys, um, this is Pat and Tegan. Um, this is our new AOR Quantum Plus. We've been home, uh, we picked it up on Thursday last week. Spent four days um, up in the hinterland of the uh, Sunshine Coast. So I just thought there's a few people on the forum at the moment and on the uh, Facebook that are looking at campers. Um, and I've been asking a few questions about the AOR and um, following Trekking's footsteps. I thought I'd do a, a um, video of the Quantum and a few of the options that I chose. Um, and so far we've been pretty well happy with everything um, that we've selected. And um, big appreciation um, post to AOR themselves. Um, for doing a marvellous job. It's a, it's a great camper and we look forward to many trips. So I'm just going to run through um, the few options that we chose. Um, just bear with me, I'm running down a list. There's a few things there. Um, so first of all, we got the sail track to the driver's side just so we can use the side wall as a bit of a shade. Um, to keep the heat off the van if we're going to stay somewhere for more than a couple of days um, We also got the generator box to the rear at the moment. I don't have a generator But I've just got my Oz pig in there strapped in nicely. They're a really really nice box Just adds as a bit of extra storage as well um, Around the front We've got our uh, firewood rack. I think it holds about 30 kilos. It's a real neat bit of kit for throwing all your firewood up there while you're on your way to camp. Picks up, pick up something on the side of the road. I actually got a couple of drifters firewood bags. Um, so I've got two of those that I sit up there and strap up. Um, keeps the wood nice and dry. Um, what else we got? Oh, we got just a few little things like the grab handle, stainless grab handle. Just makes it easier with the missus and the kid getting in and out of the van because they're quite high. Um, in the pantry. We optioned to have drawers put in here. So these are really handy option to have we think just for your little knickknacks and bits and pieces we're still kitting this van out nice self-closing drawers um, yeah we're still filling everything up um, so in the way of water um, we got the additional 60 litre tank as well as the uh, 60 80 split so we got 80 water uh, 60 of grey so you can see under there um, it's kind of hard to see it's in between the swing arms there um, you got your 60 litre tank um, here you've got your 20 litre recycle tank so anything any shower water goes into this tank and then is used um, to flush the toilet which is really handy um, someone said on the forum they reckon it's saving about a hundred liters of water having that option um, and here you've got your 60 80 split so you've got 60 liters of grey water um, so if you are camping somewhere where you're not cut not allowed to dump it on the ground and you just don't want to put it in Jerry's we optioned that um, that's actually a factory option that you can add on, doesn't cost you any more. Then up the front, we've got your 140 standard water tank um, up under there. Sorry, this one here. And then your 140 um, litre um, poo tank. <laughs> um, I know. So... We also went for the, it's a bit rusty, I've just washed the van. 
um, the vehicle components disc brake upgrade that doesn't come standard with the Quantum Plus. We upgraded for that purely just for ease of maintenance. Um, you can see what's going on. I mean, I'm, I love the old um, drum brakes, but I think they're just, personally for me, I'd much prefer to work on discs than be pulling drums apart, especially if you're on the side of a track. Um, okay, so as you can see, you've got three hatches. Um, this one, we lose a fair bit of space, which was another reason for the Jenny box. Um, this is our AC unit. Um, otherwise it would be a nice big storage compartment but we go camping for a couple of weeks at Christmas every year with the family and it can get hot so we thought we'd um, get that in here this is obviously just your standard um, box and I tell you I've, I haven't got a lot of stuff in here it looks like I do but if I packed it a bit neater it would be I'd have a lot more space but it's awesome like it's really good for putting all your stuff knickknacks it's got its own light awesome bit of kit love that and then up the front you just got your two four and a half liter gas bottles if i can open it these pole carriers are huge um i've got anti-flap kit i've got a four step um foldable uh, ladder in there, a broom, um, poles for the bunks. Um, I just got heaps of, heaps of stuff in there. It's actually really big inside, bigger than the opening. Um, okay, so that's my front 140 fill, the 60 fill, and the rear tank fill point. So obviously. This one comes, if you option, the extra 60 litre tank. Um, okay, up the front, I've got an extra gas bayonet fitting. Um, this is for my Weber. Um, I've got this mount here as well, which is for my OptiTech mover, because my van has to go into that shed. You can see I don't have a lot of space, so I physically can't back that in there. So the OptiTech works perfectly for that. Um, I also use this mount here for mounting my barbecue arm. Um, after I've got a few photos I can put up of that. It's really neat. Um, they come made in the Gold Coast, about 200, 220 bucks. Um, you get an arm that mounts in here, it swings, holds your Weber. Um, I keep my, I got a Ziggy, as you can see, or well, I remember, um, gas struts. So I was lucky enough that AOR, um, Steve said, agreed to put these on. They weren't quite ready, from my understanding, but um, they put them on for me, so I'm super stoked. Um, it's one less thing that I have to do myself. Um, front boot, it's huge, like, you know, you can see the amount of stuff that I've got in here at the moment, it's a bit unorganised, um, I keep my barbecue arm in the bottom, um, my Ziggy's in here, chairs, couple of hoses, um, the front wall, end wall, and the side wall for my annex, Every it's all kept in here awesome bit of kit okay um, yeah so I optioned the front wall um, obviously it comes with a blank you can use on the front or the rear so we plan to use that on the rear and I optioned a front wall um, and then I also asked for in the door to have a fly screen put in um, just to keep the flies out um, if and when we do decide to put a skirt on the bottom, um, we didn't get one as yet. We just, we're not the kind of people that camp in caravan parks or even for too long a time. We like to keep on the move. So it's just something else to carry that we won't use. So at the moment, um, we haven't got it. 
So this is a pantry. Absolutely love our pantry. Um, I was hoping to get the gas struts um, on this pantry because they are coming, but they're not quite ready. Because I got the speakers, um, the external speakers, they haven't, AOR haven't quite yet made a mount set up for the gas struts. So it is coming and I'm looking forward to it because for my wife, sometimes, you know, if, we, if it's a bit off camera, she can't even open this. So gas struts would be a massive help. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, we've got the external speakers there. And on the front, we got the um, stone guard. It's awesome. It's a real, real good bit of kit. Um, whilst we were camping, I unfortunately did catch a stick the whole way along the van um, and I thought it was going to scratch came home washed it and because of this stone guard you, you just can't you can't even see it it's awesome so hats off for the stone protection definitely think it's worthwhile okay we also got the stone stomper most people know what a stone stomper is and if you've ever towed before and had a smashed wheel windscreen or just peppered your van with stones, um, you'll have a stone stomper. I think they're um, pretty well a necessity for off-road um, van, really. Okay, here we've got awning arm covers. Um, also, when, when we're at AOR, we saw a couple of the vans there being serviced and the ones without the awning car arm covers. Um, these arms here were just peppered with stone chips. So, um, yeah, something, another thing we thought that we very well needed to have. Okay. Um, oh, one more thing just for you up the front here for, so you guys can see. Um, the OptiTech um, wheel mover runs off its own power. It's a 50 amp uh, resettable circuit breaker on this Anderson. And then you've got your unregulated solar panel so you can just plug your panel straight in. Um, really handy, really handy. Not that if you, as long as your van's in the sun, you won't need it. Um, it's nice and sunny today and our van's tops up in no time with the 300 watts of solar on the roof. Um, this as well is for our camera, um, we've got a camera on the rear of the car and a camera on the rear of the van that we can switch between, um, it's in our VMS head unit in the 200 series, which is parked over there in the shed, the mighty 200, awesome tow rig, it's like this van isn't even here. So, as well here you know, notice we've got the camera mount pole. Um, it's another add-on but well worth it you also notice here we've got a rear light um, Jules organized that for me um, I mean it's just nice to be able to when you're back here having a shower because you've got your, t your shower points here it's just nice to be able to um, have a bit of light whilst you're having that shower so it, it's a dual light as well so it does amber and white um, so amber keeps the bugs away as most of us know works really neat um, that's your white white light and your amber so I'll just put this away sorry White light, amber light. Um, your vans don't come standard with this light here. I optioned this just for the fact that I thought I don't want my pantry open all the time. Um, you know, if there's bugs and stuff around, um, yet I want a bit of light. So come standard with the light inside, but this is uh, something that you can option. Um, and I were more than. Um, helpful with all the changes 
that I made. Um, something I installed today. Um, it's actually a flagpole. Um, you can buy it from Whitworths. Um, I just wanted somewhere to be able to put a shower head. Now these are Eco Camel shower heads. Um, what they do is they actually draw water so they create more pressure than using more volume. So it saves you water. I, I think it's actually about the same as the one that comes standard um, with this line for the external shower and the internal shower. But um, it's just, you'll, as you'll see, I'll turn it on, it's got heaps of pressure. Um, it's just a nice unit. It's like a shower at home, which is what you want. Um, so here, your hot water. Um, this pole, it's all stainless steel. Um, yeah, as I said, I just want to be able to have a shower like I do at home. And this allows me to do that. As you can see, it's, um, I haven't used it yet, it's only installed today, but I am looking forward to it. So I'll turn that off. Perfect. Righto. Alright, I'll make my way inside. I'm going to run through a few of the other options that we got. Um, so we, it's not in here at the moment, but we got the cushion to, goes across here, dyn, uh, converts the dinette to a bed. Um, we've got one young child. Um, and we optioned, um, well we asked for, it wasn't an option, but we asked for to have this pole so the young fella can sleep here um, and then when he gets a bit older he'll most likely go down here on the dinette or we have the bunk that goes in here. I've just taken it out unfortunately before I did this video. Um, we don't need it, not for at least a couple of years so we've taken it out, hit poles down in here and over here holds the bunk up. Um, happy to make a video if anyone wants to know what the bunk is I can drag it back out um, yeah so what else do we have um, we optioned a second Sirocco fan Come, van comes with one but yeah we just wanted two one for the kids one for us um, even though we have aircon um, at this stage we haven't got a generator so and we don't often camp with 240 volt power so the fans um, I think are a bit of a must at least well at least you get one with the van um, I put my hot water water service on 240 volt as well um, hot water service is down in here um, so this is my 240 volt so um, I can run that. Have I have ever have any issues um, with the gas side of things? I can run that as a redundancy on 240. Um, also, I had a tempering valve fitted thanks to um, one of the guys on the forum. Um, that limits my water to 50 degrees. So even if I turn it on boiling hot, um, I'm not going to get but badly burnt. Um, so that I thought that was a good option. We also, down here, if I can get this camera down, um, we have asked for a valve that will isolate the hot water system. So have we, it ever needs to come out, we can turn the water off to that uh, system. Another um, thing that I found on the forum, so the forum has been super, super handy. Um, and the good thing about it is, I guess, in a way, you've got eight months while your van's been built to think of all the things that you think you want. So here we have the front tank, rear tank, and my 60 litre tank shower. So we changed a few things in the shower. Toilet as well. Um, 
So we have a shower caddy, um, which is an awesome idea thanks to trekking. I saw theirs and had to have one thanks to Daryl for uh, putting it on um, after my build had commenced. So it can also go here as an option. Um, we got the uh, seat cover um, just to stop water going in whilst you're having a shower. Um, as well, if you are looking for a toilet brush, these things seem to be the go. You can get them from Whitworths and they're for the marine industry, but serves its purpose here very well. Um, a lot smaller than a lot of the other units. So here we have the shower pole, um, the same as on the back. So. AOR put this on for me. Um, we moved the soap holder from here to here, and I also got a mixer tap. So rather than having the two taps like on the back, so you're fussing around trying to get the right water temperature, once we get it, it's set up perfect, which is about where in the place it's at. Um, lift it up just like at home, have your shower, no adjusting the taps, not wasting water, which is the main thing. Um, yeah, so we've got a nine month old and this shower has got a bit of a recess as you can see. We put the plug in and we fill it up and he splashes around in here till his heart's content. So um, another thing I didn't know the van had was a clothesline. Pretty handy just for putting your towels up after you have a shower. Um, I will show you that shower pole. This is the shower pole, same as on the back. You can buy them at a flag pole, stainless steel, marine grade stainless steel. Um, you buy them from Whitworths. Uh, this little unit here, um, you can buy on Amazon. Um, so this Eco Camel you buy, you can get it with the shut off valve. So rather than turn the taps off, if you do not have a mixer tap, you just turn this off and then the hubby gets in has a shower whatever um, yeah just obviously you got to remember to take it down before you put the roof down Oop. this sits down on here um, obviously uh, this is my shower head another one from eco camel um, AOR put this in for me um, comes with this unit here just for holding your shower whilst you I don't know, washing the young fella. Right. Media options. So as you can see, um, I optioned the TV. I like to watch the footy. Um, so this allows me to do that. Um, I do have a satellite dish as well um, that I put on in the mount on the mover on the front of the van that I can um, use to watch uh, the football. State of origin when we're out of... Uh, reception so I did option the booster um, I've got most of the media options um, so I optioned um, for the TV I optioned um, the tall boy and signal booster so that plugs in behind um, with the TV to boost your signal um, through your tall boy antenna um, so the TV wall bracket on the outside of the van I also optioned um, that way I can use the speakers through the TV so um, speakers go so it's TV to audio out um, those are them so I can actually watch the footy plat through my speakers um, TV here easy as so um, this is the Fusion Radio. This is the um, upgraded version, the full Bluetooth version. Awesome bit of kit. Um, you can use it all through the app, which I found is good. I'm sitting around the campfire. Um, I want to move the music from inside to outside. Um, I do that on the app on my phone um, from the fire. So we put a little bit of music in here. Helps the young fella sleep. 
and then I can have it a bit louder outside, vice versa. Um, all controllable from my phone. We optioned for the leather seats um, with kids and I just like leather. Um, easy to clean, um, especially with kids. Um, so we got 12 volt sockets, extra sockets beside the bed. So we've got dual USB and a socket so I can charge my computer, 12 volt or charge the iPads, phones, all that gear. Um, tie down points come factory with the van. Absolutely awesome. Um, especially whilst you're traveling for putting the table on the bed or my camp chair. Um, stalk lights, another one. Um, good while the kids are asleep. I can read a book. Um, so there's your speakers, they run through the TV, so you got a bit of a stereo system when you are having a um, bit of a rainy day and you want to sit inside and watch a movie with the family. Um, so here you've got vent for your air conditioning. Um, there's one on either side, two tie down, two tie down points on each side of the van. Diesel heater, this is where your heater comes out, you can direct the flow. Um, that diesel heater is awesome. We had one cold night when we were in the um, inland of the sunny coast in the hinterland. We had one cold night and it was brilliant. Just took the chill off the air. Um, obviously runs on diesel. It's very efficient. So I'm told um, we're yet to use it for more than a couple of hours ourselves. Over here is your electronics. move these out of the way so uh, I optioned for 300 um, amp hours of lithium um, from the get-go uh, I think you know for the for the amount of time um, that you get the life cycle out of a lithium versus an AGM I think I worked out they do roughly work out about the same price wise over um, say 10 years but you can use down to about 20% I believe um, don't quote me on that for a lithium battery so you're getting 80 amp usable amp hours whereas with an AGM um, if it's 100 amp you're only getting about 50% so you're getting 50 amp hours out of this you're getting 80 amp hours 90 amp hours so um, yeah I think for me um, we do a lot of bush camping. 300 was was some um, a worthwhile purchase. I think cost up front. Um, that's the third one down under the day bed. It's the third battery. We optioned for the 2,000 watt inverter. This starts our. Um, we got a companion collapsible jug. Gets us our coffees in the morning. Um, we don't haven't used it for much else just yet, but we can charge laptops etc off it um, here you have the manager 30 red arc um, awesome bit of kit absolutely awesome um, resettable fuse breakers um, yeah anyway it's all that's your wabasto it's all pretty basic um, kind of stuff um, well labeled which is another bonus I think um, you know if you can if you're fault finding and you're on the phone to Graham at AOR and you can just you know you know exactly what's not running uh, where the fuse is so you know where to look um, often I think you'll find it it's always something fairly simple okay down here I couldn't remember which tank was which so I just labeled them uh, front tank mid tank rear tank um, I like this unit here I think it's great because we spend the most of our time outside of the van and with this, I can be outside, open the door, turn all my lights on, um, and away we go. Easy. So here you've got the um, the toilet tank. Um, the yep. So obviously it's empty um, for the macerator toilet. Your Basto heater. 
um, all you do is turn the dial turn it up to what heat you want boom turn it off um, inverter um, on and off so then you got your main switch so that turns everything off on your van all your lights everything um, awning lights they're a dual switch so for your amber and for your white light um, this is my light outside what I call the man cave which is on the driver's side there um, that's an outside light so I can see what I'm doing when I turn the gas on etc water pump fridge uh, and my rear light so this was a spare but now it's my rear light um, thanks to Jules um, one thing I can tell you is the fridge if you turn that on and you turn this switchboard off everything will go out except for that fridge so obviously you don't want to turn your fridge off by accident so that's handy um, and then here you have your Red Arc Manager 30 awesome bit of kit so at the moment just for the lights I'm running um, it's telling me or it's counting down now I got 19 days until flat running at what I'm currently running my batteries are at 90% charge and then we can go down I've got solar at the moment so um, actually won't be well it's putting in six amps so the manager 30 will only let it put in um, I guess if it's required if your batteries are fully charged it's not going to be putting in solar at the moment the solar is putting in 5.8 amps um, with the lights I'm running at the moment inside the van I'm using 2.5 amps so and then I'm actually getting 3.3 .3 into my battery so it's taking 2.5 off what I'm putting in and then that's what I'm actually getting into my batteries, 3 amps. Great tank. You've also forgot to mention there's a USB there. This unit um, doesn't have a USB in the front fascia, so you will get an extra one put on the side. Mains power point, inverter power point. So I've got dual USBs here. Um, I might actually change one of these I asked for two um, I actually really got four so I'll change one of these to a socket so I can charge my computer up here on the bench um, another thing that I asked for was for this shelf to be turned upside down so thanks to whoever it was that mentioned that on the forum now my things aren't going to slide off um, so I can keep you know couple of DVDs or whatever I put up there um, and it's not going to slide off so it's just a bit more usable storage down here we have the um, the the AC so this is the receiver for the remote um, here you've got a daylight uh, which has been awesome if you got kids because or if you just want to get up in the middle of the night and it's dark and you want to go to the toilet you can just flip that in on your way um, it's good shines light down on the ground doesn't wake the kids um, so you got three drawers we have one each heaps of storage under here um, you know the this van's got so much storage um, there's another aircon outlet uh, yeah love these really handy just simple fly screen simple block out line if you're getting changed or you know you just want you want to have a nap through the day uh, one other thing i forgot to add um, i got this idea from trekking is a bag um, aor made this up for us for our table um, so we don't travel um, with the table up so the table goes on the bed, sits up here um, in its bag. We put an Oki strap from one side to the other to our tie down points and that holds the bed really nice. So um, I will give you a quick run through of the kitchen. Um, it's awesome. Our favorite bit, this is why um, we chose um, one of the reasons why we chose this over the matrix we do all our cooking outside 
this just suits us down to a T. It's very cleverly engineered. If you haven't already noticed, we love our non-skid. I'm a seafarer, so we use this stuff everywhere. It's great, just stop the um, top of this panel um, sitting on the glass. So another piece. So what you found, I think it's a good idea to have something in there because there's a rubber mount, you'll see, here but there's not one here so that has the tendency to want to rattle around piece of non-skid in there a tea towel something fix that up sink really really handy we wash the young fella in there too um he loves having a bath in there so um sink drains out um onto the ground or into a bucket of some kind um, I think that's really good because you get a lot of waste a lot of food after washing up etc in your um, in that sink so you don't want to be putting that back in your tank heaps of storage um, yeah heaps of storage it's great um, everything kind of has a place This is the Evercool, comes with your camper, 82 litre dual zone. Um, it's a great bit of kit, it worked really well. Um, we're still playing with the settings, keeping, um, I found that 14 um, kept everything frozen, but it was also freezing the vegetables. So I've been running mine at uh, minus 10 and it's working great so far. So. Yep, happy days. Here, you've got your pantry. So it's great for your pots. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, we keep pots, frying pans, all that kind of stuff. Um, super handy. Cutlery. Um, yep, pretty basic. All self-closing, um, which is a nice touch. Yeah, that's the... Um, kitchen um, I'll just go through the black tank um, so this is a uh, manual outlet says it right there um, so this is if you want to drain your tank manually um, you can um, and then around the front here this is your um, so this is your pump out so what you do is you put your black hoses that come with your van on here and then put that into a dump point or um, for me over in that little cover over there is my sewer so I just pump mine straight into the sewer um, and then I pump I'll put the hose on here and that cleans sprays the inside of my tank cleans it out and then I pump the rest out. Um, the macerator switch is here. Um, that um, I believe it was over in the right hand side. It's now been moved under here, which gives you a bit more space in your boot. Um, while I'm going, I'll show you where you drain your grey tank etc so here you've got water at the back drain for your water fresh water then you've got a drain for your grey and then you've got your recycled tank drain drain sorry um let me move along here okay here you have fill points um if you want to flush your tanks so 
if you want to flush your grey tank, plug your hose in, you can flush that tank. Um, if you want to flush your recycle tank, that's this one. Um, and if you want to flush your toilet line, this one's pretty important. Um, so if you get a bit of toilet paper or something where you just you're putting your van in storage you can plug onto this and flush the line from your toilet into your tank so i would when i got home um, i flushed this line first pushed clean water into my black tank and then i pumped my black tank out um, so that way the lines um, clean before i pump that tank out um, also help clear any blockages um, so this is my recycle tank overflow so uh, the recycle tank got me a bit stumped um, until I figured out what was going on um, so what was happening is my shower Rosie um, was filling up with water so and I know the recycle tank doesn't overflow into the grey tank once it's full so if you're not using your toilet and you're having showers you're going to fill that 20 litre tank pretty quick and then it's going to fill up into the floor of your ensuite into your shower sorry um, so what was happening was um, we were having a shower no way we were using 20 litres um, but the water wasn't going down so what I found is you need to crack this um, I've labelled this myself that's mine um, you need to crack this overflow so the tank can breathe for your water to be able to go down into your recycle tank then when you use the toilet it'll use recycled water from your showers to flush the toilet um, if you're not using the toilet or your water comes up into your shower you can come out here and you can drain the 20 litre tank into a bucket or onto the ground whichever um, via this one right here so the water will drain from there um, if you're having problems with the water going down you need to crack this that's going to let your tank vent because the tank doesn't have a vent on it um, to my knowledge correct me if I'm wrong so yeah definitely crack this or your water's not going down this is the new door that's replaced the old door that AOI used to uh, purchase out of house this is now their door and it is awesome it's really nice door nice and clean the locking mechanisms are solid um, this is my first AOI van so um, I can't tell you too much about the other door um, but you know you can see with these compression locks you know just how um, good you know this door is going to keep dust out compared to the old door um, so as you can see you've got a fly screen um, another little neat thing about this door is it hinges so you know door shut as you come out the door will hinge um, so you can keep that fly screen open yeah so we're all packed up we're all locked away um, they're the covers um, for the awning as you can see for a seven meter van they're not actually you know they're not very they're not too big which is what we wanted we want something that we can tow anywhere the same with as the car you don't have to worry about your trailer you just drive as long as your car um, you know where your car is then you can guarantee that your van's behind you no worries that's a wrap thanks very much